In this video, we're talking all about Asana AI. Now, AI on the platform has been available for some time now, but how does it really help in your overall productivity? I haven't seen a lot of videos. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. And so I've actually spent quite a bit of time going through the AI tools myself. And in today's video, I kind of want to walk you through some of the things I've learned, what we've seen, what it kind of looks like, and how you can use this to speed up your productivity. But if you're new to the channel, my name is Mark Key. I'm an Asana partner and the CEO of Surface, a systems improvement consultancy. And I make videos like these every single week to help you get the most out of your Asana investment. And so if you haven't already, make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel so that we can reach more people like you. And don't forget to hit that not little notification so that you never miss a video when it's uploaded. Let's get into the demo. All right, so in this case, we're starting off at the top at a portfolio. I wanna show you something in the portfolio afterwards regarding AI, but I'm gonna drill down into one of the projects first. So we're gonna to go to this website launch project and we're gonna just go through some of the features and I'll walk you through what they look like. The first one we're gonna look at are smart summaries. And so we, we asked our friend Chad to just come up with some just text for us to use within these where we could um, summarize these within the project here. And so what we're gonna do is we have a description, have all the information, and let's say that this was you know, way longer and there's lots of information, lots of links there. We just have this little feature where we can ask AI Assist to summarize this task, okay? So that's the first thing that I'm going to do. So here we can see it's summarizing, it's thinking. This task involves securing a catchy and memorable domain name that reflects the brand identity and setting up reliable hosting infrastructure, security measures, server optimization, and so on. So it's taken what we have here, and I, I guess this wasn't super long in this case, but it's taken these two pretty long paragraphs and it's summarized them into one succinct paragraph to, so you can get an understanding. But sometimes these descriptions can get pretty lengthy. There's lots of information in there. There's lots of links. You're linking to other projects um, and other tasks. And so smart summaries can help you just to, you know, summarize everything so that you can get back to work faster. The other thing that we can do here, and I actually like that one. Let's like it. There we go. Other thing we can do here within the description is if we um, wanted to, we could draft subtasks from this as well. Okay, so I'm just going to see what it pulls up from this description and how it's thinking about assigning these subtasks. So it says generating a preview. Great. Okay, so it says research and identify a suitable domain name, right? That was one of the things from the, the paragraph. Next is choose a reputable hosting provider and configure hosting environments, install SSL certificate, and then fine tune service settings. I love those. Those are great. And so now I don't have to think about what were those action items. You know, this is great for even like Zoom meetings. Sometimes I do that where I'll just have like the transcript from a Zoom meeting. I pop it into Asana and I'm like assign subtask and it will and it'll come up with all the action items and it will also summarize the meeting for me. So um, some really cool use cases you can um, use for Asana AI here. Okay. And the next thing we're going to look at here are the uh, is a smart editor. And so that was the last one here. We can do it in the description. We can also do that in the uh, in the comments here as well. In this case, I'm just going to get some recommendations on how, you know, Asana would write this. So I'm going to recommend some edits here. It's drafting some text, generating preview. And so there's a few options here. We can refine it where we want to change the tone. If we want it to do something more professional, more direct, friendly, and so on, we can shorten this, lengthen it, or change the format of it. So in this case, I'm going to change this to be casual. Let's just see what it comes up with. And then maybe I'll shorten it as well. So make sure you get a catchy and memorable domain name that really represents your brand. Also, make sure the domain name you want is available and matches the purpose and audience of your website. So yeah, it's definitely a bit more casual here. We can obviously play around with this to get it what we want. Let's just shorten this and see what it gives us as well. I wonder if it will give us that same summary. Choose a catchy and available domain name. So what it's done is it's just pulled out some words. It's streamlined the copy. We still have those two separate paragraphs, but it has made it shorter as well. And so let me just go back in here. I'm going to make this friendly. Let's see what it does just for fun. Please select a memorable and, easy, and easily accessible domain name that um, accurately reflects your brand and aligns with you know, your target audience on your website. It's important. So yeah. I mean, we can obviously refine this. I'm gonna replace this. And like we always recommend with AI, like don't just take it at face value. You wanna go in and make sure you make those edits, make sure it makes sense. But working with a workflow like this and having AI as the assistant can make your workflow so much faster. 
And what's also nice is you'll notice in the top right corner here, um, you have this ask AI button as well. And so you can open this up and ask AI pretty much anything. So what it's going to do is it pulls in um, all the information from the project and generates, you know, some topics that it thinks would be helpful for you. So what are the key milestones and stages of the website project, right? Of course, if I'm coming in, I'm leadership, I would want to know something like that. I'm a project manager, I'd want to know something like that. Can you provide an overview of the tasks and progress in stage four, launch, post-launch, August section, and then the last one is show me the tasks assigned to me in stage two. So I'm actually gonna click on this one and see what it, what it comes up. So gathering tasks, analyzing info, and now it's writing the answer. So it's gonna give me an overview of all the sections in stage four, which is down here launch and post post launch in august so let's see what it's doing it's writing our answer it's analyzing a lot of data so i'm sure it's going through all the subtasks right now it's going through all the descriptions comments maybe there we go here we are so stage four of the website launch project contains tasks related to launching the website and post launch activities this includes launch activities the official launch milestone, which covers um, unveiling the website publicly and monitoring performance. The post-launch marketing task for driving continued interest after launch. And then there are post-launch activities. So this is incredible because you can, you can then go in and you can take that answer. Yep, thanks so much. If we go back, we can ask any follow-up questions here as well. And then Asana will go through this. So I can say, um, what percentage of the tasks are marked as not urgent right as you can see we've got this priority we can see all the purple there that are not urgent and let's see what it comes back with so gathering tasks note that this could take up to two minutes depending on how much information there is in your project and it's writing our answer there we go all right so let's see oh it's giving me some some numbers here um or some coding snippets here. So to determine the percentage of the tasks marked as not urgent priority, I analyze the task data contained between tasks tags. Out of 37 total tasks, seven tasks were marked priority not urgent. Love that. Therefore, the percentage of tasks marked as not urgent priority is seven over 37, which is 18.9% rounded to 19%. The not urgent priority task, I didn't even ask it for what the not urgent priority tasks were, but it, it gave them all to me. So I love this. So this is one of the ways that you can use this. Um, Ask AI is project specific. And I should note this, that you need to have at least the enterprise um, license or an enterprise license to access some of these AI features. The, the smart summaries, the smart subtasks, and the smart edits, those are all available on the advanced. But if you want Ask AI and some of the um, ones that I'm going to show you now around status updates, you do need to be on at least the enterprise plan. And so now we're going to go into the overview of this website launch project to show you what we can do with our project summary here. And so I love this feature because, for example, in our deal pipeline at Surface, I have not only asked it for a summary, but I've asked it to email me automatically every single week a summary of everything that went on inside of the project. So anyone can come in here. They can do that. They can get that email summary and it's really, really good. Uh, I don't have one here to show you right now. It's in my email, but it broke down everything over the last two weeks. It showed who did what. It had links to tasks. It mentioned people. And there's so many things that would have been lost inside of the subtasks or the comments that were all there in a really well-defined, succinct email. So I was really happy with the results. So let's go and view this summary. Like the Ask AI feature, it's going to take a little bit. It's analyzing a lot of information, right? So it's considering the information that has been generated and added to the project, whether it's files or comments or links since the start of this project, right? So you want to give it a little bit, which is why I suggest as soon as you start your project, turn on this feature, turn on the email um, weekly updates. And so it will start gathering information as soon as you start the project and be delivered to your inbox. Here we go. Website development is underway with TestB completing front-end and back-end implementation. Domain setup and hosting infrastructure has also been taken care of by Matthias. Testing and refinement. The testing and refinement phase is underway with TestB conducting initial testing and user acceptance testing. And so 
it's going to continue populating, but it's giving me a really quick snapshot of exactly what's happened inside of the project over, you know, uh, the last couple of weeks here or the last week here. And so I'm going to give this a thumbs up because I love this summary. Right. And so, again, imagine getting this in your email and not having to go through a sun or not having to chase anyone down to ask them what's going on. What's the status of this? And then, you know, project managers could e easily take this information and put that in their status update, <clears throat> which is where we're going to go next. So I'm going to go back to our portfolio for this and I'm going to click on no recent updates. And so we could go in like we have in the past. OK. And um, we could do, you know, on track, off track, whatever the case may be. But the other option that I want to show you is that you can draft with AI. So as the PM or the owner of this project, you can you pretty much know if it's on track, off track or at risk. Um, but we're going to ask it to draft with AI. And so what's the range of the update we want to look at? You can change that as well so that you're not going too back, too far back, sorry, in the historicals. So we can also add some guidance. What would you like to cover in this update? If we did want to um, fine tune the response a little bit and get it to focus on something specific, we could add that information in here as well. And then we can also update the status if we selected the wrong one by accident. So I'm going to draft this update, getting information, reviewing guidance, analyzing information, finding progress, analyzing potential blockers, considering next steps. Like it's it's going into all this detail. And I have not seen this in another work management tool where it's actually showing you where it's um, pulling this information from. There's full transparency here and it's laying it all right in front of you. So let's wait and see. It's still analyzing. All right, here we go. So it's given us a really nice summary. Again, it's gone through all the comments, all the links, all the subtasks all the tasks in the project and it's assessed. I'm not going to read it for you. Pause to read if you really want to, but look how detailed this is. And again, you want to go through as the PM or, or the project owner and just make sure this information is accurate, right? As long as you put it into Asana, it's going to display it. So just make sure it's accurate. Make sure we're not missing anything. Um, look at the current blockers and then we can go and we can edit this draft. And now we can bring in our highlights as well. So if we did want to add some visuals here, um, we can now add this information in and we can get a really well laid out and thorough update um, as well that we can um, bring other collaborators into or we can export to PDF and, and then send off um, to outside stakeholders. So check out Draft with AI. Uh, I'm not going to do it for us because it's going to take a little bit, but you can do the same thing at the portfolio level. So when we go to progress, we can now update said status we can draft this with AI as well. So now it's going to give us uh, an overview of all of the different statuses of the projects um, that are within said portfolio. Actually, maybe I will draft it here. All right. And there we go. So now we have a summary of all four projects uh, within our portfolio here. We can see all the current blockers and there are no major current blockers identified in the portfolio data. We can see what milestones are upcoming. And then, of course, we can edit that draft. In this case, I'm just going to post it as is. All right. And the last thing that you you can do at, at this current point in time, uh, what is it, April 2024, uh, is you can also draft goal updates as well, which is really, really cool because um, as you're moving towards your goals, whether they're in manual or automatic progress mode, you can draft updates on those goals as well to inform the people that would need to see that information. But I'm not going to show you that because as you can see, we're not in the System Builder Academy space. We're in the Surface space today because we have these AI features turned on and you don't need to see all my company's personal goals. Um, so tell me what you thought of these AI features. Um, if you are curious about this and want to see a bit more, um, you can book a call with us. Um, if you want to see how you can implement some of these in your business or with your team, uh, we'd love to help you as well. And one thing I'll say before signing off is that I have seen the 2024-2025 roadmap and there's so much more coming down the pipeline when it comes to AI. Um, I can't tell you any of that, that stuff right now, but be very excited. It's going to get so much better. It's going to involve some of the features we use today, and it's going to just work to streamline a lot of the ways we work. And so just be on the lookout for those, and I'll be sure to report on them as they come out. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you found this Asana AI video helpful. And if you did and someone else on your team could also benefit from this, do me a favor, just go and share it 
with them um, so that they can also benefit. Hit the like button if you haven't, subscribe if you haven't, hit the notification button if you haven't so that you can get notified whenever videos come out. Thanks as always for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.